Master Maker, did it work? It did. We're using the, the new Raspberry Pi 5, which we've literally only just put on here with the AI hat. And over the Raspberry Pi 4, I think we were getting seven or eight frames a second running this kind of model. On the Raspberry Pi 5, you can see the difference is phenomenal. We're in the region of about 30 frames per second plus. And the object recognition and post detection is all working. And we're even getting triggers on our systems to get to the new and the good news, it's running very cool. It's running really, really cool. So we're at 54 degrees, so we're not even taxing the Raspberry Pi. And you can see this is the, the GPU and the CPU values. And again, these are percentages. We're not even taxing it at the moment. It's amazing. And even better, the best thing out of all of this is the onboard. You can't really see it. It's kind of hidden in here. But if you look in there, that's an onboard UPS system for the Raspberry Pi. Which means we can switch between the tethered systems and battery systems and the UPS has worked faultlessly. Absolutely amazing dedication. So that's a happy master maker at Swindon Comic Con. And it's also happy Tiff because she's just had her first date with Johnny Five. What a hero. Huh? Sorry, go on. <laughs> and also we've got Marcus Makerspace here and gaming and flight simulations so all in all pretty good shot It's a major droid infestation. Hi, some more work on the Dana build. Now, as you can see, I'm covered in wires. There are wires everywhere. And yeah, we're at the wiring stage. Weather forecast, it's hot. Mrs. Breaker's on her phone camera this time because I haven't got the energy to get the proper camera out. Plus, as you can see, there's lots of wire everywhere. So, this is a bit of an update. I kind of showed you before that I was doing the wiring, but as you can see, there's lots of wire. I've been tidying all the wire up, I've been getting all different wire and recycling the wire. And then what I'm doing at the moment is I'm making these up. Now basically what these are, is these are um, strobe, little strobe, amber strobe LEDs, and I'm putting extension wires on them basically like this. So they will reach in here. Come round here and have a look. So, as you can see, oops, <laughs> there's a lot going on, there's loads going on in there. Holy mo, I got to get near. If you have a look in there, you can see there's a lot of wiring in there. Nothing's tidy at the moment because it's all just been kind of set up and um, I've just found things like this and they're really useful, it's like nice little switches and I can use things like that. But the idea is that all of these LEDs are going to be set around underneath and they'll come to a central point here and then be wired back from that central point and that'll give me, I'll have in my headlights, I'll have marker lights down the side and I'll have these little LED marker lights at selected points on like there and there and there's a few of them around the other place. So to be perfectly honest, it's the LEDs that take all the wiring, take all the, you know. So the slight modification that I did in here, I had a bit of a problem with the um, 
Sabretooth 60x60 speed controller. And the problem was it wouldn't work. No idea why it wouldn't work. I plugged it in and it just wouldn't power up. So I'm not going to waste any more time with those things because, to be honest, you know, I'm not going to waste any more time. What I've done is, the camera will probably have to come around this side. You can see my little concoction here. Now, what this is, is two of these. And these are the single channel brushed speed controllers rated at 640 amps. <laughs> yeah, nothing's rated at 640 amps. You've got to love the Chinese speed controllers. But anyway, what they do do is they get hot. So they're mounted there, two of them glued onto a piece of aluminium, as you can see, and then there's a cooling fan right there, pulls cold air straight through onto those, and they're really chilled, and they will last perfectly because they have done before. Um, as I said, nothing's tidy at the moment. I don't know whether I'm going to use that big Ubeck. That big Ubeck at the moment is a bit overkill. Um, what I'm doing at the moment, you see, putting in lots of little RF switches, so all these little things here. These are RF switches. They take their power off the fuse box and earth, then they go to the component, and it, one of them in that case is the headlights. So another would be um, the priming fan for the gun. One of those would be controlling that. Oh, I've got the smoke system in as well. Uh, I can't really give you a demo at the moment because I don't really want to turn it on because if I turn it on, something might blow up because my wiring doesn't look that neat at the moment. But when I got my wiring all neat and tidy, I'll give you a demo. I know the, the motors work because I've tested those, and I know the steering works because I've tested all those. <coughs> Mrs. Breaker's also whinging at me. She says I need to clean up in here. It's a mess, and I just tripped over something sharp, which has cut my foot. I think it's quite clean in here. No, I didn't cut. Just... But yeah, so maybe what I need to do is take a break now and clean the workshop yes. for a bit. Yes. It's absolutely filthy. Uh, because basically I've been doing a lot of welding, a lot of painting, and then everything is probably covered. Probably should have cleaned up before I started doing the wiring. Yes. But Lots it is quite dust. hot outside. Well, yeah, or maybe you could sit down and have ice cream instead of tidying up. Right, let's do a little test. Um, power on. Telemetry recovered. Nothing seems to be catching fire, so that's a good that's a good start. So lights. Ooh, turn off the main lights. And we've got headlights. Got side marker lights, oh. which are all a bit bright at the moment, but um, once the side panels are on, that will look good. Just gonna have a look at the oh, look at the back. And I've got brake lights. That lights at the back. That's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Things Sorry, fine. This is breaker falling over everything in here. Flipping I do it. agree that it does need tidying up. I must. Admit. It needs tidying up. Just stuck my toe. Oh, I could show you. I've got the smoke in as well. Ooh. So, Ooh. Uh, so the smoke is in. Take a while to come through because it's not linked up with the main throttle yet, uh, and I probably haven't got a massive amount of fluid in there. Oh, got it's a little, little bit. bitty bit coming out. What I'll do is probably put a. You put a light in there. Some light. Well, I don't know. We'll see. It, it, it doesn't really need. Can a light I turn because... off the main lights? Yeah. That. Oh, look! It looks. Oh, it looks super cool in the mist. Ooh. So obviously, all this opens up. So I can get to all the other breakers. And there's the smoke unit there. Oh, I can demo as well. I think. Oh, it's just starting to make a different noise. Is that because it's run out of soap? So yeah. we should be able to. So we should be able to demo as well. Hopefully. I see the fan going there, guys. Oh, what was that? What's moving? Wheels. The wheels, huh? Look, what? Woohoo! Rum, rum. And on the other side, too? Well, yeah. Very so, good. Top. Sound should be working there, but it's not. Um, I'm not quite sure why the sound isn't working. It should be. Bit of drawing board stuff on that. 
Yeah, I've got to work on that. <laughs>